Okay. I want to come home early and take care of the preparations by myself. Postpone the meeting to Monday. As you wish, Natalia. Celine didn't even want a party in the first place. Did you know that? But this is her first birthday. She's been reborn again. Of course, we'll celebrate it in the best way possible. You're right. <laughs> Good evening. How are you doing, Miss Celine? Hello, AJ. Mother? Hello. So guess, what happened? What happened? I went into the pool. I'm taking swimming lessons. Swimming lessons? What a surprise, Celine. How come? Don't you always say that we should face our fears at some point in our life? So now I'm working on doing just that. <sighs> Did you talk with Ken? When is he coming? He called me today. He said he'll come for your birthday. <sighs> and he asked me what he should bring you. I don't want anything. I just want him to come home. I've missed my little brother. Hmm? <laughs> Hi, I'm home. Welcome. What's going on? What a surprise. So you found your way home? What was I supposed to do? I can go if you like. Of course, go. You need an excuse to go to that penniless boy anyway? Don't you think I heard what you've been up to? <sighs> what do you mean? Okay, I tell you to get rid of him. You do the opposite and go find him a job. Well done. How come this is bad? He'll make money. He'll make money? Do you think any good will come of that money to you? <sighs> Mom, enough. I'm tired. I can't stand you anymore. Look how she speaks. She says she can't stand me. She speaks as she likes, just because we depend on her. All right, Mom, don't make a fuss out of it. She works so much for us every single day. Would it kill you to be a little nicer to her? Oh, yeah? You think I should be nicer to her? Then who will be nice to me? I've cleaned after strangers for years and years, you know that? When your good-for-nothing father ran away, we were left on the street, on the street. I always worked hard. Only for you. We know that, Mom. We can't make it up to you. Don't get upset. I'm just tired. I don't even have a pension. I want you to have better things. Don't cry, Mom. Come on now, just eat. Pass me the bread. Thank God for what you have. I prayed every day for you to finally have a decent job where you can make an honest living. We must sacrifice an offering, Ezra. Don't exaggerate, Mom. What offering? I had vowed that I'd sacrifice an offering when you got a good job. So you had given up all hope on me? No, no. <laughs> I always believed in you. What happened, Ezra? Where are you going? I'm tired. I'll lay down for a bit. But you didn't eat anything. I don't have much of an appetite. Enjoy your meal. What's going on? He's troubled, I think. He's troubled, but he doesn't tell anyone. He has been for a while. Should I go and talk to him? Don't you know he wouldn't talk to you? Won't you have breakfast? I'm not hungry. But you didn't eat anything last night as well. You'll waste away if you don't eat. I won't die, don't worry. Anna. Listen, the electricity bill is due. There's also the installment for the fridge. How much? Just give me 200. I have some money too. The fridge should be done today. I swear I won't buy anything without your permission. Oh. Take this. Keep your own money, just in case. I hope that's enough. Thank you so much, dear darling. What would we do without you? Wait up. Stay. Have some breakfast first. <laughs> <laughs> 